hello students let us start chapter 10 from your general science the very first topic that you have to understand in the chapter is the concept of the term measurement it's a very common word you have been using this word every time every time you do geometry in maths class teachers tell you to measure the length isn't it and uh, when you go to tailor to stitch dresses for you then also you know the tailor takes your measurement right length and height isn't it so measurement is a very important concept in physics this is an example suppose if i tell you what is the length of this line what you'll do if i ask you what is the length give me the length of this line what you'll do you'll take the scale out and on the scale you have a uh, 15 right 15 centimeter marked okay with the help of this scale you are going to measure this length and suppose you answered so this has length of 8 centimeter or so let's say 10 centimeter what you have done the scale is a known to you known quantity isn't it total how much 15 centimeter this is an unknown quantity so comparing an unknown quantity with the help of a known quantity is called measurement so what you are doing you are just measuring the unknown length then this is the concept of measurement okay now come to the result what you have got you have got 10 centimeter isn't it so there are two parts one is this 10 which is the number and this centimeter is the unit this number can also be called as the magnitude very important word magnitude okay let us take another example suppose if i ask you what is your weight you people are going to answer sir my weight is suppose 40 kg isn't it so this 40 over here the number is called the magnitude and this kg is called a unit this is the unit of weight like that what is the temperature today let's say you have answered so today's temperature is 33 degree celsius so this 33 is your magnitude and this celsius that is c is your unit okay shall i give another example okay so let's say there is an angle over here and you, after you have measured this angle and you got the result that is 60 degree right. So, the 60 is your magnitude and this degree is your unit this is the unit of angle right is it clear. Now whenever you measure things you have to write both the magnitude and the unit if you do not supply both the information it is going to be incomplete. For example, if I ask you what is your height, if you answer sir my height is 5, does that, does that make any sense? No, right? So, what you have to answer? Sir, my height is 5 feet, isn't it? That means this you have to supply the unit also. Simply supplying the magnitude is not enough. So, in summary, what we have learned today? What we have learned what is measurement, comparing an unknown quantity with a known quantity and we have understood that whenever we are going to write something after measuring there are two parts one is the magnitude other is the unit and we have to write both of them together otherwise it will not make any sense all right in the next video we shall be learning the next concept from the chapter